In Tableau 2021.2, you can now use web-based images in your image objects on a dashboard. It's a bit of a tongue twister, but essentially you can grab a URL of an image and use it in place of actually having an image on your dashboard. This is big because essentially, how many times have we all added a logo to our dashboards? And then when the logo changes, we have to go out and change, I don't know how many dashboards. With this feature, you can put a logo in one place on the web and always be linking to it. And when the logo changes, you you can just simply change the image in one place and every single dashboard that uses that logo will change automatically because it's loading from the web. Let's get stuck into this feature. To show you this, I'm actually going to just use the Superstore uh, dashboard here, the sample workbook that's already built for us in Tableau. Um, this is actually a nice feature because for so long, I feel like we've been sort of held to our, uh, held by chains with images. It's been so hard to get things to work and we've had to do things like use extensions to get them to do th nice things. It's not the first time we've been able to do this. You have been able to bring in a web object to put an image in there, but in this one, um, this is just a much, much nicer interface. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the customer's uh, dashboard here because I know that this is nicely set up. I'll change the proportions here just to give me a little bit more space here on the right hand side and I'll just move this over to the right uh, left hand side even a bit more just so that it's not hovering over my face. So now here we are we're pretty much good to go. Now in case you're wondering the image object is over here on the left hand side so we can of course grab the image object and we're just going to put it here underneath the profit ratio. This is a nice easy place to do that. Now when we do that, you get the new image interface. And so we've got the old setup. You can choose an image from your computer, fill an image, center an image. You can also give it a URL to go to when the image is clicked and you can give it some alt text. Alt text is specifically for the web. This is a basically um, uh, good for accessibility. When uh, someone who's blind, who can't see the image, what the browser will do is it will read this alt text to tell the person what the image is. So I'll show you how to set that up in a second. I'm actually going to go to this new option here, and this is the new option, link to image. Now, what I'm going to do is I've actually got a logo from my Tableau Tim website, and it's actually held in a, um, a CDN. This is basically a content distribution network. So let me just grab the URL. It's very long and ugly, but what I'll do is I'll paste it in here. Okay, so you can see it's a very long URL, and it's essentially just my logo, but it lives in this sort of weird place in Webflow. And this is where the uh, logo is loaded from my website. So I'm going to use the exact same logo that's on my website here. Here. I'm going to set it to fit the image and center the image as much as it possibly can. And you can also give it a URL to go to when the image is clicked. So I'll just say tableautim.com and I'll basically say this image um, is the Tableau Tim logo. Click to go to the website. So the reason you type that is because you're trying to make it as accessibility friendly as you can. So when someone hovers over the image, but they're blind, it sort of tells them what that image is about. So let's hit apply and you'll instantly see that the image loads from the website. This is a really, really cool. Now, what is really interesting about this is that essentially this image gets loaded from a specific place. And if you're really sort of down with marketing, you will know that this is essentially how tracking pixels work. Okay, so I'm sure there's probably a way to use this to actually track which dashboards are being opened and where without ever having to put Google Analytics inside of a dashboard. Essentially, you add a one pixel by one pixel image and all the web server does is it logs where that request comes from and which dashboard it's on. Maybe that's possible, who knows, maybe it's not. It's just an idea. But anyway, click OK. And now you have this here. And of course, when I click on that, it actually opens up a browser. You can't see that it's opened up on my other screen, but it has actually worked. Now, the other thing you can do with this as well is you can, of course, change this image. So I'm just going to go in here and edit this image and I'm just going to uh, delete that. And we're going to put another image in here altogether. And this time around, I'm actually going to grab an image from a website called Giphy. And this is essentially an image of uh, Drake doing the dance from Hotline Bling. So um, that's actually not the link. So let's uh, close that and uh, right click on copy the image address here. I'm just on Giphy. So let's just um, put that in here. And now when we paste that, you'll see that this is actually a GIF, okay? And um, if I hit apply, you'll see that it actually loads the first image of the GIF. And you'll see that it's not playing at all. But the thing is, these dashboards are typically viewed in the browser. And that's what I'm sort of banking on. I'm banking on the user viewing this in the browser rather than in desktop. So although it's not working here, if I just go ahead and then publish this workbook um, over to the server, 
um, it should essentially work in the browser perfectly fine because the image is being loaded in a context where it's just going to work perfectly fine. So let's go put it in our 2021.2 folder, Superstore sample images, and we'll just go ahead, I can't type, we'll just go ahead and publish this and hit publish. And now once that is done, we'll head over to the dashboard and see if Drake is dancing on our dashboards. Fingers crossed he is, and we'll find out what's going on. So here we go, executing the query. It's sort of interesting because for a while, you know, Tableau's always sometimes complained when you've loaded web resources in. But again, because they're pushing to the browser, I think there's probably some changes going on in the back end that's making this kind of stuff easy to do and sort of more uh, accessible. Now, the other thing, you know, I'm going to briefly mention this is, you know, people can do all sorts of things on the internet and images are just one uh, additional way that people sort of can sort of try and try and do things. So it's going to be interesting to see if there's any sort of security implications when you have images on your dashboards, if you have to have it within a certain domain, if the image gets blocked, if you're in a corporate network because it's being loaded from somewhere else. All of these thoughts are some things you have to sort of think about. So definitely test this before you roll it out. Now you can see the dashboard has opened up in a new window that was on another screen. And the dashboard we want to go to is the customer's dashboard. So you can see this one over here. So now that that's finished, let's click on that and go to that. And if I just make this larger, in fact, if I just make it take up the whole screen, I should see Drake dancing on the dashboard at any moment now. So let's wait for this to load. Um, something's happened here. I don't think this is the right, this is this is sort of loaded a, a tablet design. I think this is not supposed to happen. So let's refresh this. I think when it opened the first time, it was sort of constrained and it loaded with a tablet design. So let's just refresh this. So it has the full extent of the screen. And yes, indeed, Drake is over there dancing on the dashboard uh, to the right hand side. So that's pretty much it. That's the feature in a nutshell. It's really, really cool. You could actually use this for a lot of stylistic design uh, capabilities. You could um, have an image that's animating a logo on your dashboard. It just brings another breath of fresh air to dashboards that I think is going to be really useful. So that's pretty much the feature in a nutshell. I'll put my face back over Drake because this is my channel. So here we go uh, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.